I recently received a comment from a viewer who watched one of my other videos, the VHF add-on. And this is the fractal bow tie that I used to put that VHF add-on on there. And he asked, how would I integrate the VHF add-on on the tuxedo antenna? And so I thought I'd just do a video for it and share it with the rest of the world. Now here is the tuxedo antenna, and if you look at it, you'll notice that it consists of only two long wires that are strategically bent into triangles. In this video, I'm going to be covering only the elements themselves. So for a complete tutorial, check out the tuxedo video. I'll also leave an icon at the end of this video for you. Now here's a diagram of the tuxedo antenna. The changes I'm going to make on this are going to be at the top and at the bottom. Now at the bottom you'll see 5 inch measurements and 3 inch measurements. And we're going to cut those out all together. Now at the top I'm going to keep the 3 inch measurements and I'm going to point them straight up. And then the rest of the VHF elements will be one quarter wavelength of the VHF channel that you're trying to receive. Now here's a chart that I've worked all the math out for you. Now the numbers on the right, I know that they work on this antenna. They're VHF high from channel 7 to 13. Now the channels on the left, channels 2 through 6, I don't have any of those channels in my area, so I can't test it, and I have no idea if they work or not. Now if you have any of those channels in your area and you build this antenna, let me know how it works for you. I'd be interested to know. Now another thing that will help you out is you see the triangle parts of this antenna. This is your UHF antenna. And if you add up the measurements for it, they are 40 inches each. So to find out how long your elements need to be, just add 40 inches to your 3 inch stem plus the quarter wavelength of the channel you're trying to receive. Now to mark your wires to make your bends, Here's a chart that you can use working from left to right, and these measurements are relative to their distance apart from each other. And as you're making your bends, you'll be working from bottom to top. Now here's one that I built, and I just have it sitting on my shelf in my room, and I turned the VHF elements to one direction toward my VHF station, and the UHF part of this antenna, I turned it toward my UHF stations because somehow these work kind of independently and they work very well. Now here's a snapshot of how well this antenna boosted my signal for RF channel 13, which is virtual channel 7. And with the tuxedo antenna and with the fractal bow tie antenna on the shelf in my room, this channel doesn't appear at all. And so this is a great improvement. Well, I hope I shared enough information for you. And here's those icons that I promised you for the tuxedo and the VHF add-on. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer the best way I can. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, just click on my picture up there. And until next time, thanks for watching.